Hi everybody. Um, today we're going to be making a quiche and this is just my way of doing it. I don't really know the exact science to it, but this is just what my family likes. Um, and I was thinking, you know, in lieu of the Memorial Day weekend, this would be something good for a brunch, um, a snack. You could probably even take this to a barbecue for the vegetarians. Even though mine's going to have meat in it, I'm putting bacon in it, um, you could just leave all the vegetables I have. And what I have here, I have six eggs that I'm going to beat up. I have a cup of milk, some chopped baby spinach, um, some cheese. I sauteed some vegetables of um, onions, peppers, and mushrooms with a little bit of minced garlic. And to go on top, um, I have chopped um, cherry tomatoes and some mushrooms to go over the top. So I'm just going to beat this. I, in here I have Dijon mustard with the eggs. It's just to give it a little, a little bit more than just a breakfast flavor. So I'm just going to beat these. And then I'm going to slowly add the milk, and I'm not going to use a cup. I would say probably about a half a cup. So. And then, after the eggs are beaten, I'm going to add, I'm going to add the spinach. I'm going to add the vegetables. Oh, and I sauteed them with a little bit of um, coconut oil, and as they were almost done, I hit them with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and then here we're going to add some bacon. I'm just going to stir that together, and see it's kind of just a throw together type of thing. You can use whatever you have on hand. Um, you don't have to add meat. You you can substitute out whatever vegetable you want. I'm trying to think. Toby, what other vegetable do you think would go good in here? Maybe broccoli? Yeah, broccoli would be nice. I'm just sprinkling a little bit of cheese. Because in my family, we like a lot of cheese. Um, I'm just going to mix this around. I'm thinking maybe some chopped up uh, um, artichokes. That would be a good idea if you like artichokes. Now all I have here is a store-bought pie, uh, pie dough, cr uh, pie crust, whatever. And I had a little bit of problem with it, when I, so it's kind of put together. But, you know, don't worry if it falls apart for you while you're trying to roll it out. I'm just going to put all that in here. So let's just scrape all that and get all those yummy, yummy bits. And then from here, in the sink, I'm going to hit it with a little bit more cheese. So let's sprinkle some any kind of cheese. This is a blend of provolone and mozzarella, but you can use any any type of cheese you like. It doesn't have to be straight across the board or traditional. It can be whatever you choose. Um, and then, now we're just going to get a little decorative here. I'm adding the cherry tomatoes over the top. And this would be just a good idea just to cook up at, on the weekends um, for the weekday ahead. You could take it for lunches. It's good with salads. It's good with just about anything. Um, let's get a few more tomatoes on here. I know I'm kind of putting them on like a pizza. I used to work in a deli, and I used to make pizzas all the time, so out of habit, whenever I see something round, I'm like, huh, I can make it look like a pizza. <laughs> so, what do you do, right? And then I'm just going to put some, now I didn't cut these or anything, they're just washed. That's probably not a good idea, because it covers up the tomatoes, so 
and just bases. I'm going to put some mushroom. I'm going to break that one in half because these guys are pretty big. And we like mushrooms in our house. And if anybody in my household tells you they don't, they do not like mushrooms, they are lying to you because they love them. Okay, so this is going to go in an oven that's preheated to 350. It's going it's going to go in for approximately 45 minutes, but you want to check on it. And so, and it goes. And when it's ready, I'll be back and I'll tell you the approximate time that it takes to cook. See you then.